Good day everyone. Good day Ma'am Jess. Um I am Christine Busnilio and my report is general analysis. So this is actually lecture 12. So general analysis. Most of us think of music styles when we hear the word general. But the word simply means category of items that share the same characteristics usually in the arts so in this context however we are talking about type of texts so texts can be written visual or oral so for instance a written genre would be blogs you know, books or news articles a visual genre would be cartoons uh, videos or posters an oral genre would be podcast speeches or songs so each of these genres communicates differently because each genre has different rules so what is genre analysis so it is an essay where you dissect text to understand how they are working to communicate their message so this will help you understand that each genre has different requirements and limitations that we must be aware of when using that genre to communicate. So we have here sections of a genre analysis. So like all other essays, a genre analysis must have an introduction, a body, and a conclusion. So in your introduction, this is where you in introduce the topic, the text you'll be analyzing, and then in your body, you do your analysis. So this should be the longest section among the three. So in your conclusion, you do a short summary of everything you've talked about and include a, any closing thoughts such as, such as whether you think the text accomplished its purpose and why. So next we have here the content so this must be uh the be the content that a text must uh possess or 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 have you know so all professors actually ask for different things so make sure to look at their instruction or listen to their inst instruction properly so these are just some areas that will help you analyze your text and um, that you might want to touch base in your essay so most professors ask for the following so we have here the purpose of the text so what did the creator of the text want to achieve with it no why was the text created like did something prompt the creator to make the text so you can just answer no para para na idea you can just answer the following questions like what did the author uh what did the creator of the text want to achieve with it so for the robot na if follow niyo yung question niyo inyo tubugon and then that would be like um murag tip murag tip na po siya di ba so sometimes the text themselves answer the uh these following questions other times we get that through clues like the language uh, the creator used the platforms the creator chose to spread their text and so on so make sure to include in your uh, in your rather in your essay what features of the text led you to your answer and then we have the second one the intended audience so who is the creator of the text trying to reach how did you figure that out so the audience can be as specific as a small group of people lang interested in a very um, niche topic or as broad as people curious about a common topic next we have structure so how is the text organized how does that help the creator achieve the text purpose so you need to know the information at the top of his blo uh, blog or post or whatsoever you know, 
to understand what comes after so like for example um uh, um example so a blog post no a blog post is of course organized in order of complexity so diba that is an example so a structure and then mas nilot ng good is naka uh, naka organize yung mga steps or mga output because uh mas mas dali siya mas after mas clear po siya para sa mga uh, uh, magbasa right so fourth we have the genera conventions so is the is the text following the usual characteristics of a genera how is this helping or impeding the text to achieve its purpose so like most blogs that is using simple language short paragraphs and illustration all these elements are helping the blog or a blog to be clear and specific so that others can understand it easily and then fifth is the connection so this the ideas in the text come from else uh, somewhere else can the reader or consumer interact with the text is is the text inviting that interaction so most of the time when the ideas come from another source the text will make that clear by mentioning the text or the author or kung asa shibikan ka kung idea so in terms of interaction possible with the text think about uh, if it would be easy for you to say something back to the text so for instance if you wanted to ask a question about a blog post you could type it in the comment section so every blog post i think has a comment section so if you want to communicate if you want to have the connection then you can comment lang no or diba mostly is can only feed feedback feedback so that is an example of connect connection also so next we have the conclusion so um conclusion general analysis involves examining different types of text which can be written visual or oral as i've mentioned earlier so to understand how they communicate their messages um uh, written genres include blogs books news articles so visual genres encompasses cartoons or videos posters and oral genres consists of podcasts speeches and songs so each genre has distinct rules for communication so a general analysis essay has three parts so introduction body and conclusion so the introduction presents the topic and the text for analysis the body is where the analysis text takes place the conclusion summarizes the main points and provides closing thoughts so when analyzing a text consider its purpose you have to consider just the following the purpose the intended audience structure general conventions and connections so determine why the creator made the text no who they are trying to reach how is the text organized whether it follows a general characteristics and if there are connections to other sources so the analysis helps the writer understand the requirements and limitation of each genre when conveying a message and that is all for my report thank you and god bless everyone so this is my reference day guys so god bless thank you shalom